Hey guys, Chris here with Cohesive Friendship Unit. I am joined by Brian. What's going on? And Jeremy. Hey, what's up? And uh, No Man's Sky next is going to be dropping very, very shortly. They just showed a kind of launch-esque trailer for it. And we're going to be talking all about No Man's Sky and No Man's Sky next. But real quick, if you like this video, throw us a like. Uh, throw us a comment down below. What did you pick up No Man's Sky when it launched? Were you sad? Are you still sad? Uh, let us know what you're thinking about next. And uh, definitely throw us a sub us if you love us. If you sub, you're entered for a chance to win some Steam codes. I think we are ready to rock and roll. So, real quick, just right off the bat, what did you guys think of that trailer? Uh, uh -huh. I mean... Agreed. Like, the multiplayer is nice, but I think that's something that kind of should have been in it from the start. I mean, they did say it was going to be, so... It's supposed know. to be in it from the start. <laughs> I really... I don't know how I feel about the, the third person. I get why it's there, because it's now, like, multiplayer. But I... I don't know. I, it is kind of aggravating to watch, like someone walk around in low gravity from third person because you're like yeah. okay just move faster like yeah go faster and that the whole time i was watching that video the guy was just kind of like i was like why do you why do you just keep running away from shit he's just like walking he's kind of bouncing around like it didn't it didn't look that appealing where if you were actually looking through his eyes i guess it might make it a little bit more interesting yeah which you can and yeah you still can play it in first person i just was i was like yeah yeah why didn't they show that in the trailer yeah or at least third a little person bit is new. yeah it's new so i guess but i don't know whatever yeah i mean i i thought it looks it looks like the my biggest problem with it is at the end of the day it still looks like no man's sky like yep. in a bad way well it is but not in a bad way per se well it it still is No Man's Sky. Yeah, exactly. That's good or bad is kind of up to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so that's why I say that I felt kind of eh about it. Like, I didn't really want to play... I didn't believe the hype on No Man's Sky when it was coming out. I didn't really want to play it when it came out. It still, still looks like No Man's Sky. I don't really want to play it now. I think that they should have done, like, a big... Because, so, this is also kind of the launch of No Man's Sky on Xbox One. I think it would have been cool if they did a launch trail, like a trailer of Next, like basically what they had, but then also kind of highlighted all the updates in the last two years because there was a lot of stuff. There's like, um, there's uh, ter like terraforming, base building. Uh, there's freighters. There's you can uh, drive little buggies around. There's they've they've added a lot of decent. There's 30 hours of story content that they added. They put a lot of stuff in there, but I feel like that kind of got lost here but that's fine that's cool i like the walking robots i thought those were kind of cool yeah when did they get fucking mechs they've always had those that's pretty cool Since what do they do they they're they called do, they, they they're do called rocket walking robots <laughs> yeah <laughs> they walk do they blow people away yeah they, they're called <laughs> they sentinels walk. and if you like fuck with a planet too much they come to try to kill you that's like uh, their thing yeah but no i i think uh we'll just go over no, we just talked about the trailer. We'll go over like a couple big bullet points, and we'll just I don't know. We'll talk about what we think about them. So multiplayer is obviously like the big standout. Then there's also character customization, third person. We already kind of hit on that. Updated visuals. The the visuals do look nice um, compared to base No Man's Sky. Uh, yeah. Unlimited base building. You used to be pretty confined on base building. Uh, Freighter fleets, uh, you can now command a whole fleet of freighters instead of just one. And I think the most interesting one uh, is multiplayer missions, which friends can be invited into your freighter and you can start missions that are built for multiple players. I think that's probably the coolest part if they pull that off. Yeah, and that's the part I'm most skeptical about. Like, I read multiplayer and my expectation is that you'll be able to do nothing in No Man's Sky but with, like, a few people. Well, at the end of the day, it's still procedurally generated, right? So yeah, like, I mean, they said that that was the first thing that he said. It was like 
every atom is procedurally regenerated. <laughs> yes, because this is running at anatomically that's, accurate. Yeah, that's that's or not that's anatomically ridiculous. atomic, yeah. atomically they came accurate. Up with their own like they yeah. must have their own periodic table and the shit. The chemists they do actually have their own periodic table, but oh, so I guess that's not that far off from the truth. <laughs> But yeah, I I just I hope it's not like fetch quests like go to this planet pick up this thing. I hope they can at least like spice them I up mean, a little bit. To that would be fair, great. Like it looked like what the guys in that trailer were doing was picking up a thing. Like, yeah, there was a guy running with like a can in his hand, and then he jumped in a ship. And... What kind of quests would you want to see, Chris? Like plausibly, given the nature yeah. of what the game is. Again, it's procedurally generated. They don't really there aren't maps. You know but even I mean? like even Skyrim's, and that was in 2011. Granted, it was a big team, but even Skyrim's procedurally generated stuff isn't like the worst thing in the world. I think as long as like your missions have a couple tiers, instead of just like go to this planet, get this. If it's like go to this planet and like kill these sentinels to pick up this thing, and then like barter with someone back on the freight. But for- Skyrim wasn't like. It wasn't procedurally generated in the same way. It was procedurally generated in that you you would go to the Jarl, right? And you'd be like, give me a quest. And they'd be like, oh. And then the game would pick a, a cave or a location close to you. And they would populate it with enemies. And populate it with some loot. And they'd say, like, these yeah. fucking hobgoblins have been giving me some trouble. Those not not even the game. But, like, these fucking orcs have been giving me some trouble. Go wipe wipe them out. Yeah, and same thing. Go and you kill them. No, but it's not the same thing because they didn't have to make a new cave every time. They didn't have to. You don't have to. No, the caves are already made. They're pre-made with the math. Like in well, Skyrim, also... not in No Man's Sky. No, in No Man's it's Sky, it's like pre-made a... with the math. Like there's also it... like a sequence though. Like when you're landing the the ship, right? Right. Where it could so load like, stuff in. Yeah. Yeah, you could populate it during that, or you could just have it because like what this has that Skyrim doesn't is empty space. Right. Where you have like raiders or bandits or something like that that vary in intensity or level or something. And you maybe you could fight those. I don't know. It, it seems like with the freighter thing, they're probably trying to improve uh, their bots or their AI, whatever they call it. Yeah. Uh, in the game, like just trying to tweak that a little bit to make it more interesting. That goes a long way with something that's just like space. Just like even like more fl- like having like ship battles like some some missions are like ship battles in space some missions are like digging a cave underground for something like just that's about what I would expect. It just, says there's going to be ship battles in the game, so just be clever like with with what you have like use use every ask every tool in your toolbox to make as but, as much variety as you can. So then my question would be: Is what they have really that interesting though? I think it is. I think it depends on how they play it. I mean, there's I'm unlimited. Sure the one who's the game. Yeah, and I just I was I've been playing it a little bit recently, the last week to get up on it. I think what they have is fine. It, they just need to flush it out. Is the combat any good? No. So, like, what you're talking about is because the complaint about the game has always been that like. It's novel for a little while, and then there's nothing to do. So, is it really going to be interesting to go to another yeah, but... generated planet for the one billionth time, have some like thin combat, do a fetch quest, and leave? With friends, it might be. Yeah, look at something like. But for but it but that adds a layer of you know novelness to it. That like maybe that will give it another you know four hours of like oh, and then we're doing this thing that wasn't that interesting with a couple friends, and it's boring. No, it depends. I think it really depends on how le- how far they let you go with like base building and stuff like that. Because you look at something like Minecraft, which is basically what you just described. It's it's got shitty combat. Yeah. Like it's it just it, <laughs> there's no real point to the there's game. There's no point. It's procedurally yeah. generated. Like you can't win. There's right. enemies, but like the the point of the game is like you play it with your buddies and you do whatever you do at night like you could be building like space stations and shit and yeah this. and you can do but, that in this too you can terraform the planets you can build bases like pretty intricate ones space stations dude space not, stations. Not, not space stations you, you want to build space stations you can do that as well so 
I think there's enough. It's just like I think there's enough there. It's a matter of them like encouraging you to take advantage of all of it. Mm. That's just me. Yeah, I'm. I, I guess that's partially my bias as well because Minecraft also has never seemed interesting to me. But I know there are a lot of people who do like it, so maybe this could tap into some of the same audience. Yeah. Well, really, really, what you're trying to do is just give someone a Lego set. Call it what it is. I mean, Minecraft makes it pretty obvious what they're doing with the block stuff, but if you give someone a box of quote-unquote Lego pieces and say, go crazy, like, there are creative types who enjoy seeing how you can put all the different pieces together, and for them, like, that, this is the kind of thing that's engaging. Even if there's no, like, gameplay to it, adding in more building and and things like that it it adds gameplay that the players effectively make so it's kind of free yeah everybody wins like that that would be a really good idea that would be how i would want to play it but yeah hopefully hopefully it's not just like go find a loot box and then yeah, yeah. 50 well, to open it and <laughs> 250 well i just thought about um like another kind of mission thing. This was actually one of the things I was super disappointed in. Was uh, they had these portals. And in the trailer for No Man's Sky in like 2014. They showed you going through a portal and going to a whole new world. And like all this crazy shit happening. And just like even even if. And portals work now. But even if going through a portal on paper isn't that interesting. Like it just transport you, ports you somewhere. It is still fun to to find that portal and they cut even in vanilla no man's sky they were pulling this off so i'm sure that they could procedurally do this now where they just like send you to like a crash site and in the crash site you pick up a waypoint within the system for a portal and then you go through the portal and there's something there and you bring it back like even that just like keeping things like moving and diverse well, i think is, would go a long way but that diversity is key there's a ton of different ways they could do it. Yeah, I mean, and and again, like the math, like it's not, it's not like things are dynamically being generated. Like the universe is set. Like it doesn't change. It's right. it's all there. Right. Well, no, it, it recombines a few characteristics. Procedure. But like, if you get like that planet is always going to be that planet with those things on it. Like it's it. When you run the algorithm, that's what it is. So it's not right. like, so you, you can kind of plan around that, I guess is what I'm saying. Like but you can I have really... the system look for the nearest portal in your system and the nearest crash ship in your system and ping those on your map. Wouldn't it just generate a portal? Crash no, because they're, they're pre-generated by the, by the algorithm. Gotcha. It's, it's all pre-done, yeah. Which is what I'm saying. Like you can, you can kind of like ping for those things. Gotcha, gotcha. What I want to know is, is what that little lizard hamster guy's deal is. He's chilling. I also they, noticed he, him. Like they added. He's, he's a geck. He's, he's gotta be what, the thumbnail. Thirty hours of, of storyline. That was in the previous update. They the previous the first story was like, it was there. Like yeah, it was it, something to do. It existed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, th there is a new path um, that you can currently do. You get to hang out with that dude? You get to be that dude. Oh shit, you're not just like Spaceman? You get to you get to be that dude too? Yeah, you get to uh, um, create your own character, dude. There's character, mar character customization. Yeah, Which I appreciate. It, it goes that far? It's not just like, it's not like Halo, where you just like change the color of your spacesuit. Like, well, it is no, no so man. It is no man's sky, space? so <laughs> probably. <laughs> so you you probably can't be a lizard hamster. So yeah, I mean the other form of ridiculous alien. There's there's a couple of races in the game, and they all have so kind of go. interactivity among each other. You have to actually learn the language uh, for every race. Like you find like runes, and you pick up words so that you can talk to them better that's interesting yeah yeah 
There is there there like, is there's, there's some depth to it. There's a lot of potential. I think it's just like they're they're missing flash. They're they're promising too much and again <laughs> not really delivering well, on. Well, yeah, speaking of promising too much, let's talk about what's kind of happening and let's talk about like where you two are in particular cuz I bought No Man's Sky on day 1 for 60 bucks. Like and, a bitch. Yeah. And since then, well it was it was my most anticipated game of 2016. I was assuming Zelda mistake. did not come out, which it was very obvious that it was not going to. Uh, so, like, let's let's let's. That's where I'm at. You guys don't currently own the game. However, the game has gone on sale many many times since then. Obviously, and it's been in many bargain bins for PS4 uh, in the last two years. Came out two years ago, and uh, it's coming out on Xbox One. Uh, and it's it's they've re establish the price is sixty dollars across platforms right now I mean, so i'm not i've been interested in this game since i've seen it like back in 2016 but i'm not sixty dollars interested yeah even with the updates i'm not sixty dollars interested without the updates I, I would not play it with yeah. the updates i would play it Mm -hmm. but not not how much not six yeah how much i would like five dollars are you $5? serious is that your is that your marks for real that's fine $5? if it is yeah okay. if you were like do you want to pay ten dollars for the game i'd be like why would i do that okay fair enough i could buy other games for ten dollars this is 13 trillion planets dude that all look kind of the give, same give me a ten dollar game on your list i just want to like just just i guess uh, you just bought rocket $5 league games are like yeah, but Rocket League's, Rocket League's a twenty dollar game, dude. I don't know, like he, literally anything. He's gonna say Breath of the Wild. He's gonna be like, yeah. No, about, hold on, I'll, I'll pull it up. That. I'll pull up my wish list. That's uh, all right. Well, Jeremy's Jeremy's five bucks in. Brian's like, definitely wait for a sale. Twenty five. I would say hmm. twenty five max. That's pretty good. Oh, we could go. It seems like no. I like I said, it seems like there's a lot of potential. So that's and... my other big fucking problem, though. Like. This game sold a lot of copies on day one, and I feel like it's going to be so hard to get your friends to, if they won, if they ever owned it, to like play with you, and two, like to buy it. Yeah, I think they're going to have some backlash. With like this. forty-five, just... might have been better. Like yeah, or forty, yeah. Like the fucking Crash Bandicoot trilogy just launched on the Switch for forty bucks. Like that's three fucking games, and it, they're good. Like they're, they're, it's known that they're good games. Yeah, this is just an update. Like, yeah. It's a good update, but it's two years in as well, so. Yeah. Yeah. We got an update for you, Jay? Oh, fuck yeah. So assuming that these games aren't on sale, games I would sooner buy than No Man's Sky at four, $10 or four less. Ten. Okay, yeah. Star Wars Republic Commando, okay. nine ninety nine. Okay. Uh... Half Life Two, nine ninety nine. Jesus, you can get that for less than a dollar. On I know, but I'm saying that's what I'm saying. Okay. Not on sale, just yeah, yeah, yeah. the okay. price that it is. Okay. The Political Machine, twenty sixteen, nine ninety nine. If we assume that we're taking sales into account, Jesus, no, I mean, no, no, no. I'm kind of surprised you don't have that already. I I'm surprised too, but I'm gonna get it one of these days. But so, and there are more. It goes on. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I think I think we're pretty clear on this. I mean, I'm gonna be playing the update when it goes, at least a little bit. I currently don't have anyone to play with, which is sad. But uh, if you guys want me to do coverage, let me know down below. But uh, until then, Brian. Well, um, you know, if you guys want to be the first employees for our interstellar mining company, IRL, <laughs> you know this. There's some risk involved, but you know, think of the, uh, think of your illustrious career mining asteroids for radioactive materials. Uh, go ahead and hammer that uh, your resume and all that stuff down in the comment box there, and um, like Chris said earlier, make sure to uh, sub to our channel if you like this video because we're always giving some free shit away here at the Cohesive Friendship Unit situation. Uh, make sure to crush that motherfucking like button and uh, smoke them if you got them, guys. All right. Thanks, Brian. We'll catch you guys next time.